Good day everyone. Kumusta po kayo? Uh, this is uh, Joey Silva and I will be facilitating this uh, webinar about one of the most neglected topics in uh, the domain of radio production which I entitled uh, Understanding the Human Voice. Many schools in the country have uh, adopted the modalities which can expedite if not totally solve the burden of teaching the students in the new normal since face-to-face uh, -face learning has started to become uh, unworkable when the pandemic uh, began to bring nightmare to our country on uh, the third week of March last year, right? The Department of Education introduced uh, radio-based instruction by initiating uh, training on the uh, rudiments of the said uh, modality. Sa katunayan ay uh, nakapagsimula na ang ilang mga schools sa paggamit ng uh, radio-based instruction. However, the, uh, the steps in completing a simulation are still uh, vague to many schools, most specifically ang ating mga guro. Medyo hindi balinaw pa sa kanila no? yung mga pinag-aralan uh, para sa pagpuput up ng uh, radio-based instruction. The value that we have on the table today has something to do with the uh, human voice and uh, its uh, role in establishing commendable radio-based instruction uh, productions. Okay, We will not uh, be dealing totally about the scientific background about the human voice kasi hindi po iyan ang uh, focus ng ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Instead, uh, you will gain practical insights on how to uh, be more productive or creative in utilizing your uh, voice as much as uh, suitability is uh, concerned. By uh, taking a closer look at some uh, samples from experts, you will uh, clearly understand how one's voice can create an impact in the uh, field of uh, related undertakings and what your voice can really contribute in uh, every project. You will uh, also be enlightened about the technical aspect on how to improve your voice using uh, basic tools and voice editing software. So, matututunan natin yan later part. We are all aware that uh, human voice consists of uh, sound made by a human being using the uh, vocal track, including uh, talking, singing, laughing, crying, screaming, uh, shouting, or yelling. But today, we're going to untangle the topic uh, understanding the human voice as uh, related to the role of teachers in uh, the radio-based instruction more specifically now that uh, the said modality is uh, found to be uh, feasible in our present uh, academic uh, setting or situation which is uh, the new normal okay so i would like to start this uh, webinar in the same way we should uh, start the development of uh, any learning experience by of course considering the rudimentary component of our goal today so the human uh, vocal uh, system includes the lungs and the lower airway that function to supply uh, air pressure and uh, airflow, right? The vocal uh, folds whose uh, vibration modulates the airflow and uh, produces voice source and uh, it's the vocal tract that uh, modify the voice. In connection to this, let me elaborate about the production of speech in a linguistic point of view. Okay, it must be said that uh, speech does not start in the lungs. It uh, starts in the brain and it is. Uh, actually, it, is, it was studied by psycholinguistics. Uh, so after the creation of the message and the uh, lexicogrammatical structure in our mind, we need to, or we need uh, a representation of the sound sequence and a number of commands which will be executed by our speech organs to produce the uh, utterance. It involves four processes. Initiation, phonation, oronasal uh, process, and articulation. 
uh, the initiation or respiration process is uh, the moment when the air is uh, expelled from the lungs. Um, the phonation process occurs at the larynx. And through the oronasal process, we can differentiate between the nasal consonants such as uh, M and N and other sounds. Finally, the articulation process is the most obvious one. Uh, it takes uh, place in the mouth and it is the process through which we can differentiate most speech sounds. So, speech sounds are uh, distinguished from one another in terms of the place, where, and the manner how they are articulated. Okay? Alright. In a deeper sense, uh, voice refers to the ability to engage in uh, meaningful conversation and to make a difference or impact upon key decisions. When uh, individuals have a voice, uh, their views thoughts and feelings receive a fair hearing that is uh, readily recognized by others. They possess the ability to influence outcomes and uh, manipulate contexts with the words they speak. And uh, the moment we open our mouths to speak, we are uh, judged. Okay? As uh, words are spoken, assumptions are made about who we are, presumptions about our intelligence, desires, uh, determination, confidence, and influence are all inferred from how we use our voices. For instance, our tone, pitch, uh, quality of articulation, and uh, inflection deliver subtle messages about the kind of person we are. They convey our mood and our feelings at a particular time. Okay? Malalaman kung masaya ka, kung malungkot ka, kung medyo nagtatampo, medyo nagagalit. Alright? Having the capacity to project appropriate sounds can make a critical difference in the way we are perceived and treated. When used effectively, our voice can work in our favor and uh, enhance our personal and professional relationships. E yung iba nga ay uh, pinagkakakitaan pa ang kanilang talent gamit ang kanilang boses, di ba? So, it can be said that our voice is the primary link between our mind and body. Therefore, with the appropriate mindset and awareness of how to use our voice uh, properly, we can uh, exercise control over how we speak improve effectiveness and do so with uh, confidence so whether an individual is a singer a vlogger maybe one who's uh, working as a voice artist hosting for parties and other remarkable events a teacher discussing a certain lesson maybe a student uh, interacting with other classmates through a group discussion a debater, a politician, reporter, anchor, broadcaster, a preacher, or maybe an avid fan of celebrities or a sales lady in a shopping mall, voice undeniably plays a cardinal role to anyone's activity, profession, or talent and skills. Okay? Uh, speaking or uttering words without the chest voice quality usually results in a breathy, weak sound because of the lack of uh, vocal fold engagement. Moreover, when your folds aren't resisting air properly, then you have to push out extra air to produce more sound. Thus, a singer without enough chest voice often runs out of uh, breath. Okay? Uh, the six elements of voice are volume, which uh, pertains to loudness. Okay? Next is uh, pitch, which refers to the lowness and highness of voice. For example, when someone is sad, she or he usually speaks with a lower pitch. Third is uh, pace or speed at which uh, someone speaks. 
Another uh, element is called the pause or the silence between the words or lines from a speaker. The fifth element is uh, resonance or timbre of the voice. And the last element is the, uh, the intonation which describes how the voice rises and falls in uh, speech. Now, let's talk about uh, timbre. Common examples of timbre in the voice are sounds that are uh, piercing, resonant, light, flat, mellow, or dark, or warm. One example is uh, Celine Dion. Okay? Her voice is uh, often categorized as uh, silky, whereas someone like uh, Ella Fitzgerald has more of a, of a smoky timbre. In short, uh, timber is the unique sound that everything makes. When we talk about the uh, voice types in singing, male uh, voice may basically fall on tenor, which is uh, high type, okay? Baritone, which is uh, lower than tenor, and bass or bass, which is low range type of male voice while uh, female voice types comprise uh, soprano, which is the highest human uh, vocal register. Uh, we have also the mezzo-soprano, which is the middle female voice, and the uh, alto, which is the low female voice, and uh, we also have the contralto, which is uh, described as uh, the lowest uh, female voice. Okay? So let's now turn our attention to the uh, practical insights and how to be more creative in uh, using your voice each time you will be required to speak, sing, report, or portray a character in a certain segment of the broadcast simulation. Okay. We learned earlier about the voice types. And uh, the first thing that uh, you must do is to uh, discover the type of your voice as uh, you aim for the clarity, facing, and articulation. This is uh, generally supported by accepting the type of voice and uh, how it can uh, contribute profoundly in the production. Okay, kaya kapag namimili tayo dati ng mga ilalaban natin sa radio broadcasting ay hindi pwedeng pare-pareho yung boses. Siyempre, pipili tayo din ng mayutilize natin uh, as uh, talent natin sa infomercial, yung boses bata or boses uh, uh, matanda, something like that. This idea negates the uh, belief that reporting or teaching using the RBI or radio-based instruction is uh, only for those who have uh, modulated voice. So, wag po natin ipilit gayahin si Ray Langit kung ang boses natin ay tenor or sa Mga babae naman, wag ipilit na gayahin si Lani Misalutcha kung ang voice type na meron ka or kayo ay parang kay Jaya. Thus, uh, appreciating and accepting your uniqueness are the keys to attain the first step. Okay? And uh, the next step seems so simple and elementary. Nevertheless, uh, there is uh, no greater option for best outcomes to any endeavor than to start practicing uh, correctly. Okay? Uh, this can be achieved by crafting your own scripts, formulating your original spiel, or the, the listing uh, you could do is uh, you can simply imitate someone for the sake of practicing vocalization. No? Take note that first outputs are usually the worst, so it's uh, permissible to have more than a single attempt. Usually, pag uh, kahit yung mga voice artists natin, uh, kapag nagre-record sila, eh, hindi naman kagad uh, final na yung output nila. So, marami pa rin attempts na kung saan ay eh, maraming uh, kailangang ayusin yung mga pagbabakal nila sa mga unang beses ng kanilang rehearsals. Okay? Finding the quality of your voice and practicing correctly are perhaps part of your success as a teacher who is aiming for quality upshot just to get the attention of your students 
as uh, they listen to the lessons through radio, but uh, integrating the needed uh, energy, uh, excitement, and uh, proper projection by applying the required timber will relatively create in you an impressive speaker, okay? Hence, uh, you should learn to internalize to compensate the, the needed elements uh, within the script, okay? As you develop your skills as uh, teacher broadcasters, it is uh, imperative to acquire styles and strategies also from the renowned uh, resource persons, uh, motivational speakers, certified voice artists, and other uh, relative specialists. So let's try to evaluate the level of excellence of some voice artists. Ngayong Tuesday sa It's Showtime! Paano ipapakita ng isang ina ang pagmamahal? sa isang anak. Maalaala mo kaya? It's the finals of the UAP Season 85! This is ABS-CBN. Ako po si Peter Musni, ang tinaguri ang boses ng ABS-CBN. Sige, umiwas ka na ngayon! Isa pang Thunderbolt! Pikachu, kaya mo yan! Alam kong pagod na pagod ka na, pero kailangan mo pa rin lumaban! Sige pa! Thunderbolt na ta! Lolo, ang sese ko po. <laughs> Lolo Alps, mabuti po nandito na po kayo. Pwede po ba maglaro kami ni Peter sa bundok? Kahit saglit lang po. Tsikin na po, Lolo. Nakakarelax ang gunting mo. Gusto ko itong titigan buong araw. Di ba lumulutang naman ang mga rubber ducky? Halika na, alas na tayo. Simulan na natin to. Powered Buttercup! Salamat, Gohan, anak. Sawang-sawa na ako sa ganito. Akala niyo ba natutuwa ako sa ginagawa niyo? Napapabayaan ni Gohan ang pag-aaral niya para masanay na kasama ang pikulo na yan. Kaya dapat bukas na bukas din, pumunta kayo sa driving school at mag-aral kayo magmaneho. Maliwanag ba? Alam ko ba naman, bilisan mo. Kanina pa akong gutom na gutom dito eh. Ang damot-damot mo naman. Pengi naman ako niya, no? Mm, ang sarap-sarap naman ito. Wow! <laughs> Hi, ako po si Cara Carinosa. Mapapakinggan niyo po ako gabi-gabi kasama si Sexy Megan sa YesFM 101.1 alas 9 ng gabi hanggang alas 12 sa Usapang LDR. Aside po sa pagiging DJ, ay nagdadub din po ako ng mga Korean novelas, telenovelas, cartoons, and animes. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Now that uh, we've already conferred the practical insights on how to be more creative in uh, utilizing your voice as much as uh, appropriateness is uh, concerned we are ready to move on to the uh, next stage which has something to, to do with the uh, technical aspect of uh, improving your voice uh, we might think of the notion about the importance of uh, possessing the right voice including all the elements and having the style needed are sufficient in order for you to uh, to be an admirable teacher broadcaster this is quite correct as long as our focus is uh, plainly on the attributes of the person. Nevertheless, uh, we must also consider other factors that may uh, further enhance the quality of an individual's voice performance. Okay? So, it is not new to us that gamers nowadays uh, need a laptop and all other accessories that are of uh, extraordinary specifications. This is uh, also applicable to you as a teacher broadcaster. Other than the compliance to the uh, requirements in putting up a school on air studio is uh, not enough. As a resource speaker, I used uh, to record my audio outputs using a mini wired uh, microphone which is uh, compatible with my smartphone. Because of the uh, because of uh, the presence of noise every time I do the recording, I tried using uh, improvised uh, DIY sound box using an empty gallon paint container with a corrugated foam uh, fitted and fixed inside. I found out that uh, this scheme alleviated the problem on the quality of uh, the audio. Um, the audio file but did not absolutely provide an impressive solution and the story did not end there. I decided to purchase 
a USB microphone which can be directly connected to the uh, USB port of the laptop and uh, can be used in recording using the uh, Audacity software. Okay, uh, as you can hear, this is uh, what I'm using right now. Okay, uh, I'm using the uh, Audio Technica uh, ATR 2500. Uh, this example simply manifests that uh, settling for less is not a good choice. Most of the uh, school uh, radio broadcast, uh, I mean uh, RBI studios, uh, use condenser microphones, but this does not guarantee good quality of sounds. Minsan yung mga uh, BM800, okay? Uh, pero may mas magaganda pa talaga. Yung ibang microphone, umabot pa ng mga 12,000 and pataas. But of course, you can uh, get the result that you are uh, aiming for, okay? It is uh, therefore advisable to buy the gadgets and tools with higher qualities if uh, you are aiming for better results, okay? After acquiring the right gadgets and all other sets of hardware, we must learn the basics of editing the recorded audio and other elements in the creation of outputs. So lots of uh, musicians and voice artists are using uh, FL Studio to improve the uh, reverberation of the sound. Uh, we have Audacity and even professional video editing softwares like Sony Vegas and Final Cut Pro and other related software, uh, yung mga editing software na pang professional na. But today, I'm gonna show you the basic ways on how to improve uh, and edit your audio file using Audacity. Alright, so let's start with our demo now. I'm going to open Audacity by clicking it uh, doubly. So before we start uh, editing uh, file, let me show you first the functions. We have here edit, okay. Um, then we have the following uh, sub uh, functions. Okay, click boundaries, pag uh, mag split tayo or mag join and so on. Uh, hindi naman siya masyadong gamitin at uh, to tell you honestly, ang pinakagamitin dito ay yung uh, effect. At nalabas uh, lahat yan, uh, magiging active lahat siya, pwedeng enable uh, kapag nag-import uh, na tayo ng ating i-edit. Okay, later part malalaman natin. At hindi naman natin ginagamit lahat ito. Usually, amplify, bass and treble, at yung uh, speed, tempo, and then ginagamit din natin yung fade in, fade out. Um, loudness normalization, noise reduction. Kapag yung, for example, umuulan at yung yung ulan lang mismo, yung sound ng ulan or yung uh, uh, traffic, ano, yung maingay, yung noise uh, coming from outside, yung masasakyan, yun yung matatanggal natin by using noise reduction. Then, uh, yung normalize, okay din yan, gagamitin natin. Reverb, napaka-importante po ng reverb, mga kaibigan. Okay? So, yung reverb kasi is uh, in-improve niya yung quality ng uh, uh, boses, kaya nga reverberation. Then, yung room size nandun yun, nakapaloob. Um, parang i-edit niya dun kung uh, i-assume niya dun na, for example, nasa room size ka ng uh, 70% is uh, medyo ma uh, parang nasa maluwag ka na space. Pero pag ginamit mo ay, uh, let's say, below uh, 30 room size, medyo parang nasa maskip ka na space parang so, ito naman yung uh, pinaka pause button natin play then web stop then skip to start uh, skip to end then uh, napaka importante po ito pag magre record tayo um nyari, may background tayo na in import then gusto nating sabayan ng ating bosses so pindutin yung record uh, magre record po siya so this is uh, also important uh, the selection tool pag may uh, i-select tayo kaya nga selection tool ano po then envelope tool pag uh, may portion tayo na uh, papahinaan or i-tataas ang volume okay? so ito hindi masyadong gamitin yung draw tool natin then zoom uh, we also have the time shift kapag uh, may imumove tayo then multi tool ito naman 
Okay. At um, again, uh, mayroon din tayong pangkat dito. Pag yung portion na sinelect natin using selection tool is uh, nag-appear na puti, then ikakat natin. Matatanggal po yung portion na yun. Okay. So, let's start importing uh, the audio file na pwede nating i-mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's import audio. Then, from the desktop, may sinib na po tayo dito na uh, nasa ating folder for demo. Uh, where are you now? Mm -hmm. Yan. Audacity files for demo. So, select na po natin pareho. Yung background is ito, Brother Louie, which is uh, medyo makalumang tunog. Maganda yung beat niya, medyo upbeat. Then, yung creative voice, yun yung audio, uh, which I recorded uh, earlier. Okay, open natin. At, uh, voila, lalabas na po sila pareho. Ayan, ito po yung audio natin. Uh, ito, then this is one. Obviously, pag nakita natin makapal, uh, at medyo uh, tumatama sa floor, and then yung pinaka-ceiling ng line, big sabihin, malakas po siya. So, uh, what uh, we are going to do next is for us to minimize okay, by clicking uh, the envelope tool. So, nakikita natin yung portion may line dito. Big sabihin, nilipis siya. Kasi background nga lang po siya. No? Ay, try muna natin pakinggan para makita natin yung lakas. Ayan. Medyo pahinaan na lang natin kasi talagang malakas po ito. Ayan. Okay? So, masakit sa tenga. Kaya, ang gagawin natin is papanipisan natin. Okay? Tignan natin kung pwede na. Kaya, dapat mas manaig or mangibabaw yung ating uh, audio. So, basic po yan sa uh, whenever we do radio broadcast production or simulation. Thank you for your interest in creative voices productions. Ang problema naman is uh, masyado namang basag yung tunog ng audio because of the speaker uh, most probably coming from the laptop pero pagdating sa um, pagdating sa headset okay na po siya ngayon uh, assuming na kailangan gusto nating or there is a need for us to uh, improve the audio file okay so gusto naman natin pala dito sa background is uh, medyo sa simula ay malakas before mag start yung magsasalita pwede natin gawin yun okay. para mag uh, uh, wait yan, so nakikita natin makapal sa simula, right? So, so syempre uh, to boost the mood syempre medyo volume up muna and then mag fade out siya bago magsalita then uh, medyo Uh, gamitin natin ang time shift para i-move itong konti para dun sa malakas ay hindi sumabay yung boses ayan baga mayroon mo nang maririnig na background so hindi siya nakatapat ano po dito sa simula ng ating music background okay now um, pag plinay po natin magano siya hindi sasabay yung audio and then papasok. Okay. So, dito sa line ay uh, kung saan pumasok yung boses, nakita natin na malakas. Kaya dapat medyo pahina na siya. So, let's use envelope tool again. Itapat natin sa simula ng boses para pagpasok ay... Ah, uh, wait. Ayan. So, click natin. Tapos, meron na dito. Okay. Ayan. Tapat lang natin sa medyo pagpangit ang mouse natin. Ano? Okay. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, pagpasok ng boses, hihina na siya. Oo. Okay. Thank you for your interest in creative voices production. Okay lang din siya. Choice for professional digital audio and voice talent production. Great. 
Okay. Um, pag uh, pinalitan natin yung speed ng ating audio, papansin natin ninipis yung boses. For example, no? Select natin. Uh, effect. So, lumabas na siya yung mga functions na sinasabi ko kanina because nag-open na po tayo ng ating uh, file. Ito. Pag pinindot natin to, and then papalitan natin ng... Kapag uh, pinataasan natin, yung boses ay parang magiging chipmunk. Preview. So... Ayan. Bumili siya pero nag-boses uh, chipmunk. Parang... Pag pinababaan naman natin, medyo magiging modulated siya. Okay? So, nasa sa inyo na po yan kung ano pong gagamit nyo. Magagamit nyo yung chipmunk pag yung tipong gagamit, gagawa kayo na infomercial. So, what else? Hmm? Yung echo, ginagamit din siya pag mag-establish uh, ng pinaka-echo ng ating output. So, reverb. Ito. Gaya ng sinasabi ko kanina, pwede natin gawin itong mas mataas. Okay. So, just uh, experiment, right? No, 17, then yung reverberance niya is, uh, pag binabaan natin ito, parang ano siya, walang reverberance na maririnig. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pero pag nilagyan natin, ayan, para siyang may konting ugong pag malakas na malakas pangit na Ayan. so naranig natin ano at uh, ayan kung gusto naman nating may isingit for example dito sa part na ito is just uh, click using selection tool then edit para mag uh, clip boundaries then split so using time shift tool maghihiwalay na po sila yan pwede na po ay magsingit ko niya rin ng canned material or another audio dito okay yan so yun po yun no ang gamit ng clip ng clip boundaries okay may join din pag pagsasamahin okay So, yun muna sa ngayon, no? At alam ko na ang ating pag-aaral na ito ay uh, basic pa lang pero malaking tulong siya para ma-improve natin ang audio output or yung quality ng ating uh, voice. And of course, uh, ulitin ko, nasa gamit din natin, no? Nasa mga gadget din na gamit natin. At uh, I hope na may natutunan tayo sa mga basic uh, features ng Audacity. At uh, yun muna sa ngayon ang ating uh, lesson about uh, basic features of Audacity. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. We've reached the end of our webinar today. So in our time together, we discussed the importance of the human voice and its role in uh, establishing commendable radio-based instruction productions. Again, I hope that uh, you've gained some insights from our topic and uh, it is my utmost desire to see a uh, better result as you take part in uh, teaching lessons by means of uh, uh, radio-based instruction modality. Once again, good day, thank you and God bless everyone.